Good morning, everyone. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing good. So, uh, I just got on the farm, got my body, and uh, I'm on my way to the planters. We can't exactly plant, it's too wet, but we try. We put our rod weeders in, and uh, we're trying to see if we can uh, plant, or we rod weed before we can plant, so we can see if they're getting through. I'm busy, the guy you see on the back, I'm busy taking him to go to the cat, so he can carry on ripping. And uh, yeah, so that's the plan for now. Uh, we're probably only gonna start around about, 11 10 11 12 o'clock starting to plant so i'll keep you guys updated cold start right so we've just let patat go and uh, now he's on his way to go carry on ripping me, on the other hand, I am going to hook the rod weeder on the fence so I can I can go rod weed for my brother, which is driving the big planter. So let's get to it. Off he goes. Here he goes. I'll see you guys when I'm at the fence. I'll try get a gold. I'll, I'll try get a cold start for you guys. Okay, so now at the fence, as we check the the oil of the engine and the water, oh, it's over there. So you check the water and that's how you check the oil. We're gonna check the stuff now instead of on the cloth so I can clean the oil with. So I'm sitting in the fence right now with the rod weeder and uh, I don't have the right hat on. Hell, okay, jeepers. <laughs> anyway, I'm sitting in the fence now. We got the, the rod weeder in, but uh, sadly, uh, this thing apparently looks like it's not working. Like there's, there's two, let me take you guys down there. Uh, so this is what a rod weeder looks like. There's two of these, so there's one, actually there's three, so there's one here. There's one, we call them an us, or I call them an us, actually everyone calls them an us. Anyway, there's one over there, one over there, and there's a third one on there. So, what's actually happening here, I don't actually know what is going on. We've been trying to figure it out for a while now, and uh, I have a feeling it's the pumps, like, these hydraulic pumps over here but we're not exactly sure what it is so because this 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 one's turning nicely the other two sorry you know there the other two are not exactly turning the work not, not exactly turning the good like they are busy one of them is turning very slowly and the other one's not turning at all so we're not exactly sure what is going on here but i'm going to get my guy after now after lunch and um, then we're going to see what's wrong with the actual, we're going to try to figure out what's wrong with this actual thing. So yeah, and uh, we're currently working, where is he, where is he, where is he, where is he, there he is. We're currently working with a big planter. I'm busy driving the Fent 6711, I mean, sorry, the Fent 1162 with a rod weeder just going in front as you guys can see i did a bit of this row so we're just making the ground the seedbed level for the planter to come basically and also what we're doing we are tramping because this land is very wet over there i was i'll show you guys now now so what we're doing is with this big fence we are actually tramping the 
we're tramping the ground flat so when the 8690 which is our planter tractor is coming closer oh, i don't know why these lights are on anyway the planter when the planter tractor comes over the rows we did it's a lot nicer and harder for him compacted for him to drive so he doesn't get stuck very easily so it's a lot nicer um, like that but uh, I'll update you guys soon Okay, so the plan now, uh, I didn't show you guys all the drama we just had. Uh, my brother got stuck freaking three times in the same row. So with the big planter, uh, there he is. He got stuck three times with the big planter, so I'm pulling him out. Actually, I'm pulling him out like with a tractor and I'm pulling him out of the land so he can uh, go and uh, fix his planter, clean his planter up and wait till tomorrow because it's just way too wet today so i'm carrying on with the rod reader just to like compact the ground a bit more for him so tomorrow it's a bit easier and uh, yeah that's currently the plan for now i'm just rod reading we got the rod reader fixed eventually uh, when i get to the end of the land i'll show you guys what was actually wrong with the rod reader so uh, yeah we'll see what happens okay brilliant <clears throat> so come look here So, I'm having the exact same problem I did just now when I was stopped. The problem is, oh shoot, this whole ash is a bit bent, but okay. So the problem is, the dirt gets into here, then this thing becomes rock solid, as you can see I can barely even push the thing, which is not good. Over here as well. Ow, that is mad hot okay so that stuff becomes rock solid and then this bar does not want to turn anymore so i'm gonna quick fix that really quick and i'll see you guys now now so i don't have a hammer which is a problem so we're using the hook of the fence only way i'm gonna get this guy back into the us so Let's see how this works. So I will struggle with that later. I'm busy uh, loosening the chain. So what we've got to do, we've got to loosen this one, two, three, four bolts. Another one, two, three, four. Then we have this bolt over here. We take a uh, 24 spanner and then we loosen this until we feel this chain has become a lot looser. There's one on this side as well, so we loosen this as well. And then afterwards, we just tighten everything back up and get on our way. And then I will struggle with this thing later. This is an easy, this is an easy way to tighten, I mean, loosen a very tight bolt if you don't have like a pipe or something. So you have your spanner. If you have another spanner, you take it, you hook it in like that, and you just pull down. Easy, easy, little life farm life hack or bolt life hack if any of you ever struggle with bolts or nuts or whatever okay so now what i'm so now what i'm doing i'm loosening this bolt which loosens this chain as you can see as i loosen this thing goes down so i just need to loosen the chain and then i can put it all back together and this thing will spin again we're good okay so i've just fixed this this chain to oh, a lot looser than it was so we're gonna check now we're gonna loosen this chain this one and then we're gonna see if it works okay so, okay so i've just loosened all of these four bolts now i'm gonna loosen this big one to uh to to loosen the chain yeah okay so now i've just fixed up both of these chains now i'm gonna try hammer in this auger with a what? What's this thing? With a uh, hook of a tractor. So, let's see how this is going to go. 
Okay, flipping heck, finally. I got this now in, the ass is in, and we're good to go. Let's get moving. It's getting late. Let's go. So, right now I'm busy washing off the the wheels on the, or the tracks on the, the, the paint. Because, uh, you know, look at the state of this. I mean, it's crazy, eh? Nah? So, I just want to clean it up before I go to home. And then, yeah. I will see you guys at home, I guess. Okay, so we just got the tracks cleaned up and uh, now we're on our way home. So I'm busy lowering the sides. I already lowered that side. It's time to lower this side. And uh, there's the planter. He's busy getting himself ready for tomorrow. There's a few things he had to fix there. I think there was a few pipes or something that he had to fix. I'm not exactly sure. Um, so yeah, that's that's the plan for now. And um, so I'm going to oh cheapest. So I'm it always scares me. I'm going to uh, pack this away for now, and then tomorrow I'm going to get it repaired because there is a bit of stuff wrong with this thing. And uh, once I got this thing repaired, then we'll be back on the job and we'll be helping out the 8690 planting. So yeah, we're doing good. We did, I would say we did okay today. We didn't do 100%, we didn't do what I would like to have done today. I'm gonna go quickly visit the small planters and see what they've done. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see, we'll, I'll see you guys at those small planters. Okay, cool. So I have just arrived here at the planters just to check quickly what's going on, see how far they got for the day, and uh, I'll show you guys um, right here. There's the planters or the fertilizer trailer. So uh, let's just see how far they got for today, and then uh, yeah. So uh, I just got back from checking the planters and. Uh, Everything looks well, they did, they worked a bit slow today because we didn't have enough drivers. But tomorrow we're going to get drivers and we're going to finish up here on Doreen so we can move to Shackleton. Because it's getting a bit late in the season and uh, yeah, we need to get moving on. So yeah, we will see you guys tomorrow, I'll bring you with again. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.